Welcome to another episode of uh, Book of Jake. I feel like it's been so long since I've uh, caught up with you guys, but you're not really happy to be here. Before we start as driving, one of my mates called me up and says my friend passed away. Uh, I was 34, 35 years old, huge Liverpool fan. So Harushan, uh, thinking of you. So since we're talking about mortality and stuff like that, um, the question I get asked is, how do you lose weight? You know. So before we get into that, very quickly, guys, please subscribe to my channel, Book of Jake. Click and uh, if you can, you know, like this, like this uh, video, share it with your friends. Please help. Uh, this will help to grow the channel. Okay, okay. So very quickly, um, it's about I don't know, forty-five days, fifty days past uh, into the new year, and most people would have quit their, you know, sort of fat loss uh, um, New Year resolution. And don't be so hard on yourself because most of the times that you don't know how to do it and that's why you quit. So, like I said, don't go for the weight loss uh, um, sort of um, direction. Go for the fat loss direction because weight loss is just weight loss. It can be losing water. You know, sometimes you go in makan and you're going to have dinner at night. Next morning, you weigh on the scale, you're 1.5 kilograms higher. Because the simple fact is you might have had food that is very sodium-based, uh, like salty, okay? Or you might have had, um, you know, a um, lot of carbohydrates. The reason they call carbohydrates is for every gram of carbohydrate you eat, your body has to hold 2.5 to 3 grams of water. So suddenly you've put on so much weight. So my, my um, tips, these are my top five tips for you to actually lose weight. Number one. Prioritize protein. When I talk about protein, people always say, so how much protein powder do you take? That to me is so silly, guys, because you know why? Um, protein powder is a supplement. If you're not eating enough protein, then you take a protein supplement. You know, that means a protein powder, a protein shake. And you guys will see guys like, you know, walking around the gym, especially the newbies, they shake out, shaking their protein after that. That's all fine. But eat protein, prioritize protein. You know, in fact, that should be the most important macro that you can you, you can eat. You know, um, how much rule of thumb is for every pound you should take one gram or zero point eight grams. So I'm about assuming I'm about hundred kilos. I'm not ninety seven, but about hundred kilos. I should do about two hundred twenty grams of protein divided into three. So prioritize protein. Why? Because protein is satiating. Nobody can eat three kilograms of a steak and still eat. But ice cream, have you tried? You're watching football, you're eating ice cream. You can finish the whole pint and you can still eat because you know why? There's no trigger. So prioritize your protein, okay? The next macro is, of course, fat. People say, oh, fat, you shouldn't take fat. But keto diet is actually 75% fat, okay? 20% protein and 5% uh, carbohydrates. So for some people, keto works. Actually, all diets work, like I've spoken before, but so keto depends on fat. And then there's carbohydrates. I am not great with carbohydrates, so that's why I limit my carbohydrates. People say, hey, you can't eat rice, less carbo. No, 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 that's not the point. The point is you are getting overweight, fat, because you're eating too much. That's all. So the number one, portion control. If you are trying to lose weight, the best thing you can do is to eat a little less, okay? Here's another tip that will also help you. If you're eating rice, chicken, and stuff, you know Malaysians, they usually eat the rice of one shot. Actually, the rice should be the last thing you eat on your plate. The first thing you should eat is your fats, and then your proteins, and then you should eat your carbohydrates. Because what happens is, I know it's getting a bit scientific here, your insulin will spike the last. Whenever we have sugar in our body, our pancreas releases insulin that causes your body to store it. If not, you're going to shock. And how do we store? We store in our liver, we store in our cells, and we store as adipose tissue, otherwise known as fat. So all that, you know, that jiggly thing around your stomach, around your chest, around your bum, and all that, is actually energy. So don't stress out, it's energy. So number one, watch what you eat, okay? Be mindful of what you eat. Every time you put sugar, your body will release insulin to hold it. And the thing about sugar is you cannot stop. Sit up. You know, you eat one potato chip. Oh, but it's potatoes, it's vegetable. Yes, my friend. Anything with O-S-E at the back, glucose, sucrose, mal uh, maltose, uh, uh, lactose, 
some form of sugar, okay? So be diligent about that. The second thing is we're going to go into Ramadan. I love Ramadan because, I mean, for most parts of it, and I'll explain to you why, because it is actually, Ramadan is actually when you fast. Fasting is actually, in most religions, the best way for you to be restrictive of calories. Because what happens with, is when you don't eat, your body starts to utilize what's in the freezer, not in the fridge. That means there's also something called devil cells where the cells are just bad and all that. In the absence of any other energy, your body will start to cannibalize the cells and clean up. Suddenly, you are feeling a bit more healthier, a bit more energetic. You know, the Muslims do a dry fast. That means from sunrise to sunset, which is great. But the problem is, in Malaysia, we go for buffets. After a pause, after we breakfast, we sit down in the buffet and we eat like we haven't eaten before in 20 years. So then most people will tend to put on more weight during Ramadan. I lose about seven to eight kilos, no, no joke, seriously, because what happens is I'm very restrictive. Morning I get up, I'll have something really light, like an oat, a little bit of protein, understand that, because sustenance towards the zone. I break my fast uh, with some dates and then go and do my press. Then I'll have rice and chicken. That's it. Before I sleep, maybe, uh, you know, some Greek yogurt with some protein. And that's it. That's it. Seven to eight calories, uh, sorry, kilograms easily. So the benefits of fasting is actually very healthy, regardless whether you can do intermittent fasting, even, you know, don't have to wait for Ramadan. Intermittent fasting is where you have a 16-8 window. That means your feeding window is eight hours. Your fasting window is 16 hours. The best way to do it is assuming you have your last meal at 8 o'clock. From 8 to 12 noon, don't eat anything. You can have black coffee. You can have uh, green tea. Some people argue you can't have, uh, you know, like zero zero uh, calories and stuff. But I say go for it. You can do that. So that's another way to actually do it. Be restrictive, restrictive of that. And you will see the changes. Next thing is watch your stress. Stress you know, when you're stressed, you tend to eat, right? It's stress, la, I want to eat. Stress, la, I want to eat ice cream. Oh, I'm so stressed. Because what happens when you're stressed, your cortisol level goes up. You know, it's a stress hormone. When your cortisol level goes up, you're in survival mode. So in the end, you'll tend to, you, you'll seek those carbohydrate food. And then you put on weight. And then you blame it on that. But I can understand. It's a vicious cycle, you know? The next tip I'm going to give you is actually very similar. Walk. A lot of people say do HIIT. Um, high intensity interval training, which is great. But you know, every time I do HIIT, what happens to me is I'm more hungry. <laughs> so I tend to eat more because, you know, you're, you, you do it so fast and you're depleted, glycogen is depleted, and then you want to eat more. So I suggest, listen, hang on, just walk. As a rule of thumb, if you, you try to get a tracker, you can get anything cheap for like 80 bucks or 80 to 100 bucks in Shopee, okay? Um, if you don't know where to get it, check it, check out Adam Lobo TV. He's, he's, he, he talks about all this also, uh, his YouTube channel. Very simple, track it, because you will know how sedentary or how active you are. Like my average is about 11, 12,000 steps a day, which is about eight to nine uh, kilometers. The average person does only about 3,000, 4,000. So what I suggest is just walk. And I'm not saying walk for, for 7 km. If you got to get up like every 20 minutes, just get up to a few steps, walk, and suddenly you see it all add up. That Nobody ever got hungry by walking. Do you know what I mean? If you just walk up and down, it's not going to trigger your appetite. So walk. The next one is sleep. I suggest no matter what you can say, sleep is like, I don't know whether you know it, but you have to recalibrate. Get some sleep. Seven, eight hours, you know. It's been. And the last tip I will give you is the most important probably, work out. Don't be a cardio bunny. Cardio is great for the heart. Cardiovascular is great for the heart. You walk, uh, you, you, you know, you're, you're running and all that. 300 calories, 400 calories, one latte. But lift weights because weights causes your muscle to grow and muscle is active, you know. That means it's working no matter how, whatever you're doing, you're burning calories. Lift weights. In fact, prioritize lifting weights, you know. I hope this helped. Guys, if you've got any questions, I hope you just follow these few steps. I guarantee you, if you put in those little bit of work, you will lose weight. I have a friend who's about working with me, he's about 140-ish, 40-something. 40, 40 he's already starting to lose weight. 
because he's doing that. And it says, at eight o'clock at night, it says, have you done your 10,000 steps? It's no 7,000. It says, do another 3,000. And consistently he's doing it. He's doing intermittent fasting. He's doing uh, the steps. He's drinking water and enough sleep. Just these four or five steps plus protein. Huh? He's losing weight. So please, just follow these five steps. I guarantee you, you will drop the fat and look great. Okay? So... You know, all, all the best on your weight loss journey. Guys, please subscribe again. Uh, again, thank you, Adam, Adam Lobo TV, for this wonderful studio setup. And yeah, see you guys in the next episode.